Another technique we can use is getting the AI to connect the dots for us when we don't know all the information about a process. For example, I want to travel from Garswood to Liverpool Lime Street by train. What are the stations on the way? Traveling from Garswood to Liverpool Lime Street by train involves several stations along the way. The stations on this route are part of the Northern Line operated by Northern Trains. Here are the stations you would typically pass through. 1. Garswood 2. St. Helens Central 3. Thaddo Heath 4. Eccleston Park 5. Prescott 6. Wheaton 7. Roby 8. Broad Green 9. Wavertree Technology Park 10. Edge Hill 11. Liverpool Lime Street This is correct. Aside from Liverpool, I deliberately used a small town in the northwest of the UK and a small train route rather than a major one. Here's another example. I'm driving from Warrington to Wembley in London. Please map out the fastest route. Include stops every one hour. To drive from Warrington to Wembley in London, you can follow the fastest route primarily using the M6 and M1 motorways. Here's a detailed plan with hourly stops. Route overview. 1. Start Warrington. 2. Take 56 towards Manchester. 3. Merge onto M6 towards Birmingham. 4. Switch to M1 towards London. 5. Exit M1 at Junction 1 to get onto the A406 North Circular Road towards Wembley. These are simple examples of how you can use this type of prompt to get the AI to connect the dots or fill in the information in the middle that you don't know. You could use this for any type of process or for getting information about processes in various industry sectors like book publishing or engineering. You can even get information on each of the steps involved in getting a tooth implant or preparing a plot of land to grow tomatoes. Your imagination really is the limit. I like to use this for simple and practical things most of the time, as well as for satisfying my own curiosity. Like this. I want to travel from London to Kuala Lumpur by train. Please map out the route. Traveling from London to Kuala Lumpur by train involves multiple legs across different continents, incorporating a combination of train routes, transfers, and potentially other modes of transport such as buses or ferries to cover some segments. Here is a possible route. 1. Lund, London, UK to Paris, France. Train, Eurostar, duration, approx 2.5 hours. 2. Paris, France to Moscow, Russia. Train, Paris, Moscow Express, operates occasionally, ensure availability. This prompt helped us connect the dots by getting the AI to show us the route. Now we know it's possible to travel from London to Kuala Lumpur by train. On this occasion, the AI was pretty useful and provided journey times. It correctly assumed my intention. But it doesn't always do this when you don't explicitly ask for something because the AI, at least for now, tends to follow your instructions to the letter. So on this occasion, we ended up with a good output more by chance than by design. The AI even mentioned visas, which didn't even occur to me. But still, we want more than this. We've got to grips with prompting by now, and we want to really make use of AI. So let's build a prompt that gets us a really useful output. Include the name of the rail company that runs each service, as well as ticket prices for both standard class and first class. Include also an overnight stay whenever any leg of the journey exceeds six hours. List five hotels nearest to the train station where I'll be staying overnight. List the distance from the hotel to the station. The hotel must have Wi-Fi. List also the average price of a single room. I will be traveling in the month of September. Output the total cost of the train journey by standard class and by first class, as well as the number of days it will take. Include a list of things I will need for this journey, such as visas, passports, etc. Let's run it. Here is a mapped out train journey from London to Kuala Lumpur with details on rail companies, ticket prices, overnight stays, hotels near train stations, and necessary travel preparations. Route breakdown. 1. London, UK to Paris, France. Rail company, Eurostar. Duration, approx 2.5 hours. Ticket prices, standard, £39. First class, £115. Hotel options near Gare du Nord, Paris. 1. Hotel Whistler, 0.1 miles, approx, £150 a night. 2. Ibis Paris Gare du Nord Chateau Landon, 0.2 miles, approx, £120 a night. 
Total cost summary, standard class, 2,409 pound, first class, 3,909 pound, total duration, approx 14 to 16 days. Hash things needed for the journey. One, valid passport, ensure it has at least six months of validity. Two, visas, Schengen visa, France, Russian visa, Chinese visa, Lao visa, Thai visa, Malaysian visa if required. Three, travel insurance. Four, train tickets and reservations. Five, currency for each country, euros, rubles, yuan, kip, bot, ringgit. Six, accommodation booking. Seven, international driving license if planning to rent cars. Eight, health documents, vaccination certificates if required. Nine, travel guidebooks and maps. Ensure to check for any travel advisories or restrictions in each country due to current global conditions. Safe travels. That's the kind of really useful output we can get by spending a little time thinking about our prompt. The better the input, the better the output. And on that note, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build a super prompt. See you then.